G'day folks, I just figured it was time I uh, finished off this old Kelly and Lewis centrifugal pump. I put it aside some time ago because of motor shortages and just sort of forgot about it. I saw it sitting there tonight and figured I'll do a bit of work on it. Particularly since I'm starting a new job soon, I'm going to run out of time to work on these projects. It'll just be a weekend thing. So I've uh, cheated a bit and welded some crossbars to these spaces. If I want to put the original motor back on, I'll just grind them flat and fill in any little dings and scratches. For now I'm using the uh, Briggs & Stratton 4 horsepower 1971 model. I was going to use the Villiers, but the actual shaft and the positioning of the mounting feet is a bit too short. I mean, way too short. Even this one only just makes it. So, I decided to use the Briggs. It's a lot easier to convert over and it's got more horsepower. More parts availability too. The Villiers is too nice to put on this. I've rebuilt the rest of the pump. Uh, unfortunately I had a bit of oil in the sump when I uh, stood it on its end in the corner and it's run down all over here so I've got to degraze everything before I can paint it again. That's only primer there. Right now I'm just setting up to machine an adapter bush for the uh, other part of the drive yoke. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to use a bit of aluminum bar. I might actually change that to steel just for durability. I've got some steel bar up there. And I'll uh, turn the outside down, bore the inside out to suit the shaft size and maybe cut a couple of shallow keyways in it. I'll see how much material I have to play with. I might not have enough room for keyways. I really do need one though. So let's do that. reasonable piece of steel I had was uh, really really hard 
think it was about 55 Rockwell. I couldn't turn it with the inserts that I had. So, we'll use this one here. I'll just cut a slot down it so that the shaft keys can sort of fit in. Anything's better than nothing. I might make a new key out of some wider key stock. And that should do it. Pretty good fit. I mean, once the uh, other pulley fits onto it, it'll close up a little bit. Okay, well, the thin nature of the bushing doesn't leave a lot of room for cutting key slots in. Uh, if it was much thicker, I probably would have waited till tomorrow and just taken it to the foundry I used to work at. They let me use their broaching machine on occasions. Cut an internal and external broach cut, uh, key slot in it and that'll be done. But unfortunately, this one's a bit too thin, so I've carefully sawed it down to size. And I'm just going to try and wedge another key in it on top and just use that grub screw to hold everything square. I mean, a pump like this isn't exactly a high torque application like a 1000 Newton meter conveyor belt drive or something, so it's not going to shear the key in half or tear the bushing to bits, but it might not last forever, of course. But that'll do for the time being. Not hard to do on a hobby lathe and a hacksaw. It's a nice fit. I'm quite impressed with that. It's not sloppy and it's not tight. A firm fit there. The next step is to finish the uh, motor mountings off, get the spacing right, height right. It has to come up a tiny bit. And uh, yeah, try and reinstate this flex disc and give her a shot. Okay, well that turned out pretty good. Motor mounting studs are all welded into place. Motor's in place. Everything lines up nice and square. It'd be nice to make a new disc for this. This old one's falling to bits. I know this pump's designed to well, typically run at 1400 RPM. I'm going to set the governor pretty low on this engine. I mean, it's got three or four times as much horsepower as this pump needs. So I'll run the governor at about half. Uh, although I have seen pumps like this run six pole electric motors, which are about 3000 RPM. And this engine maxes out at about 3200 RPM, so it's not far off. But considering its age, I'm not going to over rev it. The gland packing on this is all new and it is rated to pretty high speed. But the old shaft's a bit worn, there's a bit of play in it. Uh, I'll use some high speed bearing uh, oil for that. That should work quite well. Beautiful. I'll test fire it tomorrow and then tear it down and give it all a good coat of paint. I'll colour coat it with the engine. I'll use black for things like the couplings and other bits and pieces and green for the base and body. So yeah, stay tuned.